live long and prosper. What's going on guys? So this is my reaction to the new Star Trek TV series announcement for 2017. But we got some exciting news. Star Trek is back on TV and we're going to get that in January of 2017 and in the United States it's going to be on the CBS All Access uh, service, it's sort of like Netflix and only the pilot is going to be shown on cable. That's unfortunate for you guys. Uh, in Canada, we do actually have a TV deal for cable here, so we will be able to watch Star Trek on TV. Now, I don't really watch cable slash have it, so, so I'm not sure what that's going to look like watching, watching it. Although, at the, in January of 2017, I'm probably going to have some, a lot of different things going on. So the announcement that CBS made is the following. The brand new Star Trek will introduce new characters seeking imaginative new worlds and new civilizations while exploring the dramatic contemporary themes that have been the signature of the franchise since its inception in 1966. Alex Kurtzman will serve as executive producer for the new Star Trek TV series. Kurtzman co-wrote and produced the blockbuster film Star Trek 2009 with Alberto, Rus with Alberto Orsi and Star Trek Into Darkness, and Orsi, with Orsi and Damon Landoff. Both films were produced and directed by J.J. Abrams. Star Trek, which will celebrate its 50th anniversary in 2016, is one of the most successful entertainment franchises of all time. The original Star Trek spawned a dozen feature films and five successful TV series, although half a century later, the Star Trek television series are licensed on a variety of different platforms in more than 190 countries and the franchise still generates more than a billion social media impressions every month. It sounds like they're going to go back to the roots of Star Trek. Some people were pissed off because Alex Kurtzman is associated with it because he did the J.J. movies. But, you know, let's see how it looks. I'm sure we'll get a trailer coming out next year at some point to advertise the pilot. And it's really something to look forward to because we haven't had Star Trek on TV since Enterprise. And that ended in 2005, I believe. So we've been waiting a long time. Uh, the series is not going to come out on the anniversary year. It's going to come out one month after the anniversary year, but that's fine with me. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm very excited. I love Star Trek. I started watching Star Trek when I was eight years old, and it was really a family event. Uh, my parents and I would get together every week to watch Star Trek. And I grew up with The Next Generation, absolutely loved it. Over the years I got into the other series like the original series Voyager, Enterprise, Deep Space Nine and I currently own all of TNG on Blu-ray, I own the original series on Blu-ray and all the movies and I own the single TNG DVDs as well as the DVD box sets. Uh, the special ones like Borg and Time Travel and Alternate Realities and captain and stuff like that so i love star trek can't wait to see the new series i hope that they stick with the prime timeline more or less something that's take place after nemesis that's one of the rumors anyway that's going around there is also a fan that said that he was pitching his series to paramount or to cbs which was called star trek uncharted and they have a website I can include in the description box below where it talks about his ideas for a new Star Trek TV series and it takes place in the Andromeda Galaxy and so forth. I'd also like to see like the Enterprise F taking off and but I'm happy with whatever they do. I'm really excited. I hope they do a great job on it. What do you think about the new TV series? Do you not like the fact that Alex Kurtzman is doing it? Or are you just as excited as I am and can't wait to see what they have in store for us? Let me know what you think. Post in the comments below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you check out some more of my videos. Live long and prosper. Peace. Let's make sure that history never forgets the name Enterprise.